Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cats on the Mesmo channel. So today I want to show you guys a very crazy farm that you can do in Forager. This is uh, version 4.2 beta. This is the closed beta actually. And I am, uh, well, with pretty much, I have pretty much everything maxed out. So I want to show you a kind of end game farm. So for the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to... Uh, how to use the farm and in the second part of the video I will show I will tell you guys about all the details and how and what you need to do in order to get to this point uh, as you can see I have lots of money like 60,000 or so for now I also have uh, a lot of ores as you can see here I have like almost 3,000 iron ore almost 3,000 gold ore and 4,000 stone which I'm actually going to sell everything to this to the market so sell everything sell everything Be just because you're going to get so much of that stuff that those are not even going to matter so as you can see i already have 100,000 uh 100,000 gold uh, on me now and i don't have to worry about the ores because uh, as you can see i also have lots of gold bars uh, all processed and everything so Okay, so the first step is to get a few scrolls. So over time, you will get lots of scrolls, guys. Don't worry. It seem it, it looks to be a, lot, a, a little bit expensive, but it's not. Trust me. So let's go straight to the farm. You get you want to get twelve of those, and uh, I want to get at least twelve of those others. I will get in, in more detail. So I, I want to take thirty just to be on the safe side. Maybe twenty-eight. This is this is going to be fine. Okay. So what are those? So this first one is a minor scroll. It spawns ores, basically ores and rocks and things like that. And this is the demo scroll, which causes damage to those resources. Okay, everything will, will be uh, clear soon. Okay, so uh, you also want to have a, quite a few potions on you. So the most important potion that you want to have is this one. I'll pick all of those and then I'll explain. Uh, how those work as I use them. Uh, it's some of them are optional. Okay, so what what are those potions? So the, the most important one and necessary is the liquid luck. Uh, with this potion, everything that you mine or chop is going to give you twice as many resources. Uh, this one is optional, uh, and what it does is the greedy mixture uh, for everything that you mine or chop. Once again, is going to give you. Uh, some coins so you get you get a little bit more money from everything that you do in the game and the dragon filter is is very important if you want to speed up the process because this will cause random explosions which helps a lot in mining those things fast uh, and this will basically cause damage to a lot of stuff in parallel so this is also to speed up the process guys uh, and with all of that, uh, you are basically ready to go. You want to also have the best pickaxe that you can have uh, at the moment. So, uh, how do we start? I actually want to grab two more uh, of these other scrolls in here just to show you guys how this works in the end. Because you probably want to, we'll, we'll probably want to uh, use those in the end. So, start by filling the entire area. So, you use your, uh, what is it called again? The the minor scroll so everything around you is ours for now and you want to make sure to have a large area where those things can spawn as you can see they won't spawn on top of bridges so you want to have a good ter a good and clear terrain around around you so make sure to clear everything around you and now it's time to take the potions uh, it's it's good if you take the potions in this specific order so uh, the first one you want to get is the luck potion this is the effects you can read the screen or pause the video and then take the greedy uh, potion and then you can uh, take the damage potion start with this one which is a uh, thunder thunder bound or thunder something it's uh it's not too much damage too much damage as you can see it's already damaging some of the stuff and finally take the 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 dragon the dragon heart yes Okay, so this will cause uh, random explosions, as you can see uh, uh, here. And uh, the best thing that you can use here is the demon scrolls. Yeah, I will use one right now, just so you guys can see. It causes damage to everything in a radius around you. It causes a lot of lag because it spawns way too many items. So what you can do to reduce the lag is to pick up the items as fast as you can. So it doesn't destroy everything, as you can see. So usually you want to use two of those scrolls uh, every time you use one of those scrolls to spawn uh, the, the minerals around you. 
And as you can see on the left uh, top corner of the screen, uh, we have limited time. So during this time, you are probably going to be able to uh, to go through all the twelve uh, uh, the twelve scrolls that I picked up from the chest, uh, which is why I choose this. You can do more or less depending on uh, on how uh, these thing these things work. Let me do the second one. Try to pick up as many items before you do the second strike with the or the second blast with the demon scroll. Uh, as you can see, we don't have lots of them, but yeah, you, you might want to use those uh, just to be just just do things as fast as you can, so that you can you can take advantage of the the, the time that you have with the potions, so you don't have to spend as much uh, with potions. Uh, those crystals they are very much resistant, and they might cause cause you problems. So, for instance, uh, if you have way too many crystals in the same place. The demon scroll is not is not going to be able to propagate the explosion uh, so far. So this is going to cost you more demon uh, scrolls. If this is not that clear for now, if you uh, with the if you try the farm a few times, it will definitely be clear to you that the explosion radius is not going to affect as as much stuff uh, if you have way too many crystals around you. So you might want to clear some area using your pickaxe as well. So in my case, I have a, a, a great pickaxe. It's actually the, the top tier of the game. And uh, uh, what it does is uh, it will explode things. So basically it causes explosions. <laughs> and those explosions are really powerful because they can destroy things around them. So if I want to clear this, for instance, it causes explosions in here. So if I wanted to, do, to go even cheaper, I could as well mine everything using my pickaxe but it costs time so you might if you have the money if you have the resources you can just do this and explore everything <laughs> so okay guys uh, i will try to go through all of these scrolls because this is a repetitive process uh, for now and once i am at the final stage of this i will get back to you guys so you will uh, know uh, how well we'll proceed with all of this. Let's do the last scroll. I still have almost one uh, one minute left with my all my effects. Uh, those are very important. Uh, I want to speed up the process. I usually um, am a little bit more careful uh, with my explosions, but because of the video, I I don't want to miss the opportunity to do things and speak at the same time. <laughs> so then I so then I don't have to to waste any potions. So. Okay, collecting everything, and this is what I was talking about to you guys. Sometimes the explosion will have this effect, so the, the thing keeps getting damaged over time because of the pickaxe as well, so it eventually ex explodes. So you might want to, you know, wait a little bit before you do all your explosions. And I also want to show you some of the, what the druid uh, scroll does, just in case you don't know. It basically spawns trees. Trees are much easier, they will blow up much easier, and you basically just want to use uh, one one demon scroll per uh, per druid scroll, but if you're using the mineral scroll, I, I keep forgetting the name of that, <laughs> that thing, or the, the mineral scroll, you might, yeah, you, know, you would prefer to use two demon scrolls every time. Okay, guys, we have loads of resources. Let me try to pick up as much as I can from around here. Be aware that this farm will basically kill everything around you. So <laughs> this is probably going to kill any animals that you're trying to not kill during the process. So be aware of that. Okay, the effects should wear off pretty soon. And what we can do now is to go to the market. But first, I want to show you what I was able to collect in the process. So uh, with only two scrolls, I have uh, uh, 1,200... Uh, uh, wood now and I already have almost 3,000 gold ore once again <laughs> and where is the yeah uh, more than 2,000 iron ore as well and 5,000 rocks so you might want to sell everything if you have these scrolls guys just sell everything get the money <laughs> do what you need to do and most important because you have the luck uh, the, because you had the luck potions uh, you b besides getting more or you also get more of those gems. And this is what I forgot to show you guys uh, before I started farming. So before I farmed, I kept uh, 100 of each of those gems. So 100 of those, 100 of those, those, uh, of, except the, uh, the bombs, the bombs were just here. And I also kept 200 crystals. And this is just because those things can be used to 
do more potions and more scrolls. So what I'm going to do now is to still keep 100 of each, but I will sell uh, all the rest. Okay, so yeah, this is my, my usual setup. I keep 100 of each gem, as I mentioned 100 times, and 200 of those. Uh, so let's sell things to the market. Now, actually, I want to see if I have anything interesting that I want to buy. Um, yeah, I also buy potions. Uh, in the beginning, you want to you wanna craft all the potions that you can, but when you get the money from the farm, you will just keep buying more and more potions. You won't ever... Uh, craft any potions by yourself uh, okay so let's sell the gem so sell this 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 you can watch my money down here um what else uh the crystals yeah crystals is going to give us good money and yeah that's that's all the money that we that i was able to get from the really valuable stuff so i have almost two hundred and sixty thousand. uh money uh, coins for now uh, but this is completely optional you can also sell the if you have enough of those of course you can also sell the rocks and the ores uh, which i will do now so let's see how far this gets us so total of 300 uh, 000. so this is the method i use uh, and let's get you the details so as i mentioned before you want to have the best pickaxe that you can at some point you're going to have a pickaxe that gives you more coins and after that you're gonna get a pickaxe that do that does damage over time which means that for instance if I touch this tree just once it keeps taking damage as you can see and eventually this is going to pop and in the end you're going to get a pickaxe that does everything but it also explodes things it won't explode if it keeps getting damage over time but if I just mine it up to the end it will explode and when it explodes it also destroys things around it if you don't have the ability to destroy to explode things with your pickaxe yet you can uh, replace it with uh, this potion I think I think it's this one uh, it's named blood furry cocktail uh, this this basically does what the pickaxe does uh, everything that you mine will explode all right so yeah you won't need this anymore uh, in the future in the near future uh, let's see about the skills guys this is going to be pretty easy the skills that you need um, are first of all those four in here those four so yeah once you have this enabled so it allows you to find fairies uh, you need the inscription table and you need the ability to do scrolls uh, let me show you guys what, it, what the inscription table is just in case you don't you haven't seen it yet this is an inscription table and it will first let you do some uh, ingredients and then it will allow you to do some scrolls like the dude scroll uh, which which makes lots of trees for you to mine later okay so let's talk about the other skills that you're gonna need uh, the second set is this one. You need to know how to do cauldrons and also the basic potions. And this is a cauldron right here. And those are the potions that you're going to be able to do in the beginning of the game. So you can do the liquid luck and, yeah, and the thunder strike. The mandragora could be useful to you as well. It causes damage in a, in a decent radius, but... The other potions, like the greedy one, you will probably only be able to buy from the market because it's the craft recipe for those are not included in the game yet. And finally, the the other the other skills that you need is of course this one, the most important one, uh, which unlocks the market, so you can sell all your all your stuff and buy more scrolls. Buying scrolls is the most important thing, to be honest. But you also want to have this one. Uh, which makes rocks drop 40% more minerals. This is obviously important. And also this one, trees drop 50% more wood. Because eventually you, you will end up, as you saw, with loads and loads of minerals and loads of wood, which means you can make hundreds of thousands of uh, coal and process, for instance, all the gold and make even more coins for you. Because if you have the proper... If you have the proper skills making making coins using the forge is even better than having those things on this side in here uh, i have lots of banks for now but even those are not as productive as using this farm multiple times as you guys saw i have 300 000 
golden. This basically allows me to buy anything that I want. Uh, also, if you have multiple markets, uh, all of those are going to sell different stuff to you. So it's really important that you build as many markets as possible for you to have this diversity. Otherwise, this is going to take you a long time uh, because those things are random. So uh, as you can see, this, for instance, is going to restock in less than four minutes. So if you have only one market, you need to wait four minutes for those three items to be restocked. But if you have as many markets as you possibly can, then you don't have to wait as much for that stuff. Okay, guys, um, hopefully I went through all the stuff that I needed for you uh, to be able to understand how this farm works. If not, just leave me a comment, leave a like in the video. Uh, this helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.